All right, everybody. <clears throat> Figured uh, since today is a random day and a day I normally have off, figure we'll do a quick little run through as a dwarf. We'll finally make our dwarf. Dwarves, dwarves. Dwarves are the best. Hi, kitty. But yes, how is everyone? Welcome to the show. While about to begin your long day of work at the Silver Deep Mine, an old man beckons for you to come near. He is a close advisor of Thorin Oakenshield, the master of these halls. What could he have to say to a simple miner such as yourself? See if we can't uh, turn off a couple things here. Uh, be the one right there. <clears throat> All right. Will you humor an old man and walk with me for a spell? Sure, Gandalf. Lord Thorin makes ready to go on a dangerous journey. Wait, can we actually go see him? I don't think I've ever actually... No, we can't. Dang it. <laughs> he asked me to advise him, yet he never listens to wisdom is his curse. Look, it's ballin' and dwallin'. Oh, those poor dwarfs. Thirteen will not do. Ah, Clue is messaging me. Should to turn off notifications. So yes, how is everybody? We're finally making a dwarf. The best. The best in the game. Yeah, dwarf. Baruch Kazad, Kazad, I may do. Oh my god, Roz, don't ever call me that. <laughs> How you doing, Roz? Look, it's glowing. Not glowing. Glowing. Gimli! Look, it's Thor and Oakenshield. Looks, uh... Looks a lot different in the game than he did the movies, that's for sure. Armor Dower Smith. Oh, my goodness. Thunderbird, you're here too. Yes, dwarves, dwarves, Thunderbird, dwarves. My dad's a dwarf. LOL, my dad's short. Roz. Roz. Don't, don't go saying that stuff. Grimmer's number of humor, young miner, yada yada yada. Talk to Gimli to find out what to do. Okay, let's let's go. Have you equipped your weapon yet? Oh my god. Didn't think you'd start attacking me. Oh 
You're in English class right now, kind of boring. How'd your English test go? Yesterday, how'd that go? We've got to clear out all these miners. Ooh, ominous. I love how Cam Gimli just goes through a door like, yeah, you go that way. All right, Monsi. So what are you all up to today besides English class? Thunderbird, what are you up to? Your assignments, I'm going to guess. You're probably wondering why on earth I chose a dwarf hunter. Now, this the answer is going to interest you a little bit. So I was watching Keldor's stream. Oh. I, I, I don't know. Freaking... Two or three now, I can't couldn't be two weeks ago. Wait a second, where's the Oh, okay. But yeah, about uh Yeah, three or four weeks ago. And freaking uh Damn, Gimli. But, um, and we were talking in his stream about how it was interesting because he never saw anything quite like it, that a, there was a dwarf hunter. And the ironic thing about that is, as he said, was dwarves get a natural, like, debuff to agility which is what hunters use um so, so it's kind of like you know pe it's why people <clears throat> make elves and stuff for being hunters so I said hey for the lulz Let's just make a dwarf hunter and goof off with it. If I can get, there we go. There we go. Why not? Oh really, cave troll or cave cloth. Thunderbird is working on a paper and Roz is math unit test. What are you guys doing this weekend? I know what Thunderbird's doing. He's doing more assignments. What are you doing this weekend, Roz? Besides watching my great content. How was there an elven ruin down here? Is that one of those kind of trolls?
Oh, okay. So you guys came from here. But there's no way out of here. You found the body of a dwarf, did you? Seventy-five years after the death of Thorin, his halls in the Blue Mountains have fallen under the rule of the Dowerhand clan. Tribute from Thorin's halls has ceased, and King Dain of the Lonely Mountain has dispatched Lord Dwalin and a company of dwarves to uncover the cause. Tribute. So I have come to offer my service to this party of elves. So does Thorns Hall give tribute to It is interesting that the dwarves arrived when we did, though we came for different purposes. What Erebor? Stay a moment. My father is great D among does the it, wise. Does Thorns Hall give tribute to Dane Ironfoot? Make of Onan. What do you make of this riddle? I mean, that's the only thing I could I understand the that the would be here. the but case. There is a slight flaw in my thinking. Because if this was Thorin's kingdom, and Thorin was like the dwarf king, and he died, so that means Tribu wouldn't be coming here anymore. It would have to go to the next one, which was Dane. So that's the only logical explanation. God, my class is so boring. Why did Dorolas lead us here? Skorgrim is dead. Well, math class ten or English class tends to be boring. Yes. I never even equipped the new bow. <laughs> All right, first off, I'm going into the bag editor, and I'm putting all these into one thing. One bag. There we go. Okay. None of this will be of use to me right now. I talked to the hunter trainer nearby. Okay, dokie. It's been a while since I've played a dwarf. Sweet Lloyd Malon, will you stay a moment? Light Blade, you know what? Actually, we're dwarves. We go for axes. That's right. We don't do daggers and and then swords. We do axes. Oh boy, Eladan, are you actually going to be of use, unlike in uh, the Lord of the Rings War in the North game? You have a true warrior's heart. Oh my goodness. Well, well, well. So, chat. What do you guys think I should play tomorrow? I I Give me ideas. Because I can tell you right now, it's currently set to Stronghold 2. 
I was here when Ephraim I got to get that finished. I've only got like maybe two more episodes of Stronghold to do. Whoops, wrong way. Valorant. Oh my goodness. I have never played Valorant. I would probably die over and over and over and over and over again. I am not good at PvP. Will you lend me your ear? I always wondered what was out that gate. The refuge of Athelion. At Hellion. So. If we're right here. So if we're right here. Alright. So that means Thorin's Hall goes north. So it had to be up here. I actually kind of... You know, that's actually kind of an interesting thing. Why did they never, ever, ever add this? Or this? To the game. Or this. Because Linden, right here, not really a significant part of the lore, but it was quite the area, and they never added it. Too much work. <laughs> I don't know, they might add it. They've been, uh, they actually, I don't know if they've actually added it yet or if they're going to add it, but they are adding another zone to the old war content. Another level 40 through 45 zone. It looks really good. I can't. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it. Um, what's the name of that dang new content that they're adding? All right, defeat these cave claws. Was that dang area's name? Like they already added Wildwood, and I like Wildwood. It's okay. I mean, it's not their best zone, but it's pretty. I really need to play more on Arkham Stone and get my character leveled up. <laughs> Get to, uh, get to the end content because they're inevitably going to come out with a new expansion. So I gotta, really gotta get my stuff together. Uh, da, da, da. What is the name of that zone? Myth. Thelithel, Mathiathel, or whatever the heck it's called. I, I can't remember. But yeah, I really gotta... Really gotta... Get leveled up in the actual game instead of the, uh, Legendary servers. Because... 
I mean, that is my plan. I'm going to get to level 50 in the le uh, legendary servers, and then I'm going to kind of calm down on playing the legendary server a little bit. Um, probably about once a week, I'll go on to the le legendary server, play it for a night or something, get some deeds done, get some quests done, you know, tie up loose ends. So that way by June... I'm all set for the uh, release of Mirkwood. But in the meantime, actually put effort into leveling up. You know, I don't know, maybe this character, but I I don't know. Probably Foxarium, my actual Foxarium character. Do I need anything else in here? I don't think I do. get that leveled up because that's going to take a long time that's not going to be just oh ah, you know six months down the road you'll be max level no six months down the road I might be Gondor if I actually worked on it Simply because I just don't have the time, and to be honest, I'm working tomorrow, and if I'm going to be going back to work, then I am not going to have nearly as much time for my own personal private play. Um, between work and streaming for you guys, I just won't have time. I'll have work, streaming, I gotta hang out with Josie, gotta hang out with some friends, gotta do life stuff, and it's just, nah. So it's not like I can just, oh yeah, every night, you know, put an hour or two into Lotro, now. <laughs> not complaining, just pointing out what you know, reality of the situation. Because those are my two top priorities, is Josie, work, and then streaming would be third. <laughs> Eladan, okay. All three I can do. All three I can do. It just so happens that I enjoy streaming to you guys, so it's kind of, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, mm, yeah, I'm not going to be gaming for myself so much anymore, but hey, still gaming, still having fun, making new friends, getting some followers, making people happy. Everybody, yeah, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. That is a vile little flower, and one I have not seen before. Oh, yes, it is a vile little flower. You do that? You know that? Well, oh, God, Eladin, why? Why? Why do you sound that way? Red flowers will you lend me a trail of blood through the snow. Hold on, guys. Is this seriously a bug? What the hell kind of bug is that? Dead now. Hold on a second. <laughs> Okay. Well. Make sure he's dead. Okay. <laughs> you want to know something? I think that that bug 
has been on my computer screen for like the last two weeks. Because I thought I saw a bug crawling multiple times, but never like caught it because it's like really tiny. I mean, this bug is just so fucking tiny. It's a freaking beetle of some sort. I didn't even know beetles were that small. It's like smaller than a flea. No joke. How weird. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Dad, will you have Valentine's with Mom? Yes, I will be having Valentine's Day with Mom. <laughs> with Josie. Actually, I, I told you this yesterday, but I don't know if you were here for it. I kind of made a boo-boo. Josie sent me a Valentine's Day gift, and she had she told me how oh she sent me this package, you know she hopes that it gets through customs yada 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 and all that stuff and it might take a little while but I sent you this package and it, you know it's something that I made it's really nice blah 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 so I was like oh great and the, but that's all she told me so when I actually caught the package in the mail and brought it inside I just opened it. And next thing you know, she's texting me, No! You weren't supposed to open it! No! <laughs> and I'm like, why? 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 She calls me up. She's like, no, no, please don't tell me you opened it. And I'm like, what? No, I, I did. Why? Why? What's going on? She goes, oh my god, that's your Valentine's Day gift. And I'm like, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> And she goes, because I told you. I said, no, you just told me that you were sending me a gift Look what the that you made yourself. You didn't say it was for Valentine's Day. And she goes, oh, my God, the one time I'm not clear. Ugh. <laughs> so, yeah. But she was happy anyway, because I, I loved the gift that she gave me. She hand painted me. Because I love the movie Zootopia. She hand-painted me, because she's a really great artist, a picture of Nick and Judy with Judy kissing Nick on the cheek. Have you come to pay your respects? At no school one is to gain admittance. <laughs> uh, and too. it's it's really nice. It's on canvas and everything. You should pay your respects to school And she did a really good job on it. She also sent me, cause yes, I know, right? It is she. It, she's a very cool woman. I love those crystals. Um. So she also, as you all have been told before, that I cannot have chocolate because it has caffeine in it. I'm allergic to caffeine, so. I can't have chocolate, and she says how much better tasting European, or at least, or at the very least, Swedish chocolate tastes compared to American chocolate. So, she sent me, because I can have white chocolate, because white chocolate, unless it's Hershey's, because Hershey's puts it back in for some stupid reason, does not have uh, caffeine in it. <clears throat> Because it uses cocoa butter instead of cocoa solids. Anyway. Um, so she sent me some Swedish white chocolate. Two bars. By the way, if you think that Lind chocolate bars are big in the United States, you have not seen a Swedish chocolate bar. These things are massive. And anyway, so I tried that. Freaking absolutely delicious. Loved it. And she's absolutely right. <clears throat> European, if not just Swedish. I haven't had any kind of other chocolate. But Swedish chocolate is 
way better tasting than American chocolate. Like, it's not even in the same league. Like, it's way better. The only difference is, is it's so much sweeter. Like, you know how chocolate bars... Nope, I can't drink coffee. Not real coffee. My fake coffee I can drink, but I can't drink real coffee. Not even decaf. Or tea. Can't have tea either. Or most drinks, like soda. Um, so anyway, I don't even know why I have that down. I don't need this down. Um, so, what was I say? Oh yeah, sweetness. So you know how chocolate bars come in little squares and you can break off the little squares and eat them individually and stuff? I kid you not, a half of one of those squares is more than enough. It is so sweet. It tastes delicious. It's not an overpowering sweet, but it tastes so freaking sweet that you can't, like, like a lint oh, chocolate bar. We need. I can finish that in like 10 minutes, just eating just pieces of it off, you know, and eating it. Hershey chocolate bar, less than that. It's just not a problem. Don't even think about it. This chocolate bar, I've only eaten three squares out of the chocolate bar so far. And I've ha I have like a half a piece every 12 hours. It's just that sweet. But it tastes so want? good. And I mean so good. It will be a big and she got me two of them. My folk. Two. Two of them. So. Hashtag best girlfriend ever. No, it's not a sweetness overload. It, It's really not. When it first melts in your mouth, when you first taste it, you get that kind of like, mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh, this is too sweet. You, you get that. But once you finish that, then you are like, Okay, so that wasn't that bad. Okay. And then you eat your next piece and you're like, okay, this th this is good. This is fine. <laughs> Just because you're not expecting it. You're not expecting it to be that sweet. So we looked up um, how much the chocolate bars have for sugar. As a matter of fact, let me, let me look at it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. It's all in Swedish. Um, I think I remember what sugar is in Swedish. I got to open it up, really. Um, so, do, 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 do. yeah, there it is. Okay. So this chocolate bar, I'm going to let you guys know this, and I'm not going to get the exact numbers, but I'm going to get really damn close with these. So Lint, cho Lint chocolate, the bigger bars that are specialty bars in America, and I'm going to guess sweet Switzerland. They have nine grams of sugar. Okay. A Hershey's chocolate bar has 24 grams of sugar. This chocolate bar has 65 grams of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a, that's twice over twice the amount of sugar than a Hershey's bar. Oh, for goodness sakes, Graham. It's a lot. It's a lot, Roz. It's a... <laughs> 65 grams of sugar. 
And happy Valentine's Day to you, Roz. Although I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you tune in before then. Valentine's Day isn't for another week. <laughs> Have a good night, Roz. Do you want? That? Oh my God. That's why I'm eating it slow, Roz. That's why I said, a, a half a square will do ya. So anyway, Thunderbird, so yeah, the equivalent amount of sugar is if you took two Hershey's bars, put them on top of each other, then ate them both. And even then, you technically still would not reach the full amount of sugar you'd still be low yeah but oh my god i got like i said best damn chocolate bar i've ever had tasted great it didn't taste like sugar Tasted more like vanilla than anything. It melts in your mouth so much different. Like, you know how, like, a Hershey's bar will melt in your mouth and, like, just coat your mouth in, like, chocolate? And it gets, like, that kind of goopy pudding kind of consistency before it melts even more and becomes like a watery paste this does not do the, that this chocolate like literally just melts and turns to water like a water consistency Like, it'll get soft in your mouth uh, while you chew it. And then after it gets soft in your mouth when you're chewing, it just turns into a liquid. It just melts rapidly. So, yeah, that's my little uh, adventure through the Valentine's Day mistake. And I know I'm a bad boyfriend. Since uh, my current work issue has happened, those dogs I have got much. to make Josie something. I gotta make her something special. She deserves it. And I will figure out a way to do it. Because I do not have the money to get her something. Oh, I can have two axes. <laughs> um, which kind of annoys me. I kind of wish my tax return came sooner, but... But even if it came tomorrow, I wouldn't have enough time just wouldn't ship in time so but you know it is what it is Josie is a very Josie has never really wanted for anything in her life but she does not have that kind of expectation that a lot of people have if they grew up in that atmosphere. She's very, very much, and she's told me very, very much so, that she would rather I 
just make her something than to buy her something. <laughs> And I know, I know, women logic for men, that means that she wants something. I know, I, I, I know, I know. But she is, she's also being genuine, and I promise you that she's also being very genuine when she says that. She's a very caring woman. And she knows my current situation, so... But don't you worry. When everything gets back to normal, I'll be getting her something real good. Maybe I'll send her a bunch of American candy. <laughs> She's been asking for that. Send her some American candy, American soda, some Vienna sausages. I'm just joking, sweetie. If you're watching this, I'm joking. I know you're a vegetarian. I know. God, I'd be such a big dick if I sent her that. <laughs> hey, babe, here's Vienna sausages. You like? Could you imagine somebody actually doing that to a vegan? Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not a vegan. Pescatarian. I like how the skeleton was just staring at me. Like, what's up, bruh? Oh my goodness gracious. So chat, what about you? Y'all got any uh, funny Valentine's Day stories to share? <clears throat> Surely somebody must have something. <clears throat> I do have another funny Valentine's Day story to share. No, <laughs> I'm deferred. Aww. I do have another funny Valentine's Day story to share. So, growing up, my girlfriend of seven years, long story short, that didn't end very well. Anyway, um, her favorite thing was, back in middle school, was mummies and the mummy movie and all that stuff and she didn't have the second mummy movie on dvd so i went out on valentine's day bought her the movie had all these plans set up that you know we're gonna order pizza we were gonna have fun watching it together just you know snuggling on a couch having a good time Spent all this time and money setting everything up. I even had this whole big thing set up where, you know, there was going to be a phone call and, you know, she was going to get sung to and everything. I spent, like, all the money I had saved up at this point for, like, a year on her just to give her a really good Valentine's Day. I kid you not. I get to her house. Her freaking parents were having a fight that day. 
so we go to the street corner and we're just you know kissing talking and whatnot and I said, so are we going to be able to watch the movie tonight? Blah, 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 blah. And she goes, uh, well, we might be able to go up to my room and watch it. Blah, 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 blah. And I kid you not, it was like being in a freaking movie at that moment that she said that. Her cell phone rang. And boom, her parents were like, say goodbye to your boyfriend. You're coming back in for supper, blah, 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 blah. And we're going to be closing the house down. And we, uh, yada, yada, yada. It's like, oh, my God. And she said, uh, I, 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 I got to go. And I'm like, oh. So I gave her the movie. I gave her the movie. And she loved it. You know, she, she was happy with it. <laughs> and it, it was like really all this and I, no refund by the way all of this only to be undone wait what But Elro here didn't have a thing over his head. That's why I didn't stop. Anyway. Um, so this whole time I'm sitting there. Just. I'm just amazed that this has happened. Like what are the odds? Ah, you will be a hero. Really? These leaves can be crushed to make a powerful remedy. Yeah. <laughs> Like, there was just no question. She she did not question her father or anything, and I don't blame her. her what the heck is this helmet? Okay. So, yeah. You yeah, kind of think of it, I really don't have very good luck on Valentine's Days. So there was another incident too. Not story worthy, but different girlfriend. I did, just didn't have a great Valentine's Day with. Yeah, in all in all respects, though, I probably should have before I opened up that gift. I probably should have just either waited for Josie anyway, or I should have asked her. <laughs> all right, use the bad roll. Can this oh, be? No, I don't want to use the bad roll. I almost said bog roll. Been watching too much Richard Hammond and Jeremy Clarkson. Okay. Give these guys their medicine. Dead is dead, in my opinion. What is this nonsense? Will you help me? Talk to Dwalin, use the bedroll, travel now. Now we're gonna do this Galadriel thing, and I can't skip it. Listen to my words. I am Galadriel, the Lady of the Golden Wood. Do not be afraid, friend dwarf. The friendship between our peoples has been strained, but I hope it has not been lost. I will not long disturb your sleep. I can visit you in dreams for only a short time. I have looked into my mirror and seen much that worries me. Let me show you.
Uh, right? Card Doom. I have seen lighted windows in the evil of Kondoom, this dread land of Angmar stirs. Shadows once stretched forth from Angmar to threaten Middle Earth. They fear they will again. Is that a corpse? Yeah, there's two corpses in a cage. Moria. My mirror shows much else I do not know. Is this supposed to be dwarf music? You know, you'd think that the Balrog would fear Gandalf just a little. You'd think. I mean, they, they know that each other is powerful. You'd think that there would be just a little fear. <clears throat> I mean, a human technically can kill a Balrog. Dwarves technically kill Balrogs. Elves kill Balrogs. Why on earth would Gandalf not be something that it would fear? Just saying. <clears throat> What is this? What is that little yellow dot in the top right corner? Us. The last tendrils of sleep will soon release you. You ask why I wanted to show you this? It is for one reason. I saw you in my mirror. Not once or twice, but often. Whether you desire it or not, your fate is tied to that of Middle-earth. Do not forget my words when you awaken. Finally <laughs> done with that paper. <laughs> Which paper is that one, Thunderbird? Pay. Is that your engineering one or whatever? Oh, your English paper. Oh my God, it's Skippy Tippy Peanut King. What are you doing, my liege? You are here. Hey, can't stay long, but I wanted to say, hey, have a great stream. Well, thank you, Skippy. <laughs> I won't be doing much longer because we're about to do the final mission. Nope. I need to sell first. By Durin's beard! Durin's beard! Whoops. Wrong thing! Keep that. Sell the rest. What did I just sell in here? I did not mean to sell that. I don't even know what that is. Whatever. Everything else is fine. Alright, we got everything. We're good. Mm. 
Alright. It would seem that Gormor and the Dower. Hey Ben Skippy. Did you have a good day? Evil fell spirits of old, just as Scorgrim himself did long ago. What have you been up to? My father Bloodhand, a gaunt lord, threatens to sway the Dower hands to evil with the terrifying ritual about to take place in Scorgrim's tomb. There's evil in the air here. Why is that guy like dwallin? Why is he lagging? How do you know who Ivar is exactly? Like, it's not exactly a dwarf. We're too late, the ritual has begun. It is time to bring back the great dwarf lord. But first, there will be sacrifices. Ah. And he killed the dwarves. tired just relaxing and coming to see you lol working my ass off all day five days a week saturday sunday off well at least you have those days off i'm working tomorrow for a little while i am betrayed stop now i've our score we must stay return us to our former glory Again, Skippy. Besides peanut butter. We need to get out of here. Wait a second. That's the shape of a person. That's disturbing. Oh look, it's Eladan, uh, Eladan and Elro here. They're actually fighting. Un uh, unlike in Lord of the Rings War of the North where all they do is just run around doing nothing and run on walls and pull levers. Warehouse job. Yeah, 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 we need to get through this door. Several dower hands ran in here and barricaded it. My axe, take care of that. No problem. Move aside. I want a two-handed axe. Bam. We will wait here. Protect you. May we meet again. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Yes, protect us from the enemy that's not here. See what I mean? They don't do anything. Elrond's sons don't do anything. Get smushed. Oh, my goodness. So, Skippy, do you actually play Lord of the Rings online? If so, what what server are you on? What do you play? Why is Nas running back here? That was fun that day when we were on Keldor in Broomin. <laughs> oh my god. That was a pretty fun day, actually. Why couldn't we just go down that way? Like seriously, it's not that far of a f jump. But yeah, Skippy, do you actually play the game? Or did you ever play the game? Why did I do that? Why? Dude, Brewster knows so much about this game. Like, I've been playing since the beginning, but I never play MMOs seriously, seriously anymore. I play just for comfort. So I don't really get into, like, the number crunching, the stat utilization, stuff like that. Y y you know, I just play for the sake of play. But Brewster... He can give you, like, numbers and all that stuff, and he knows, like, what classes do what damage, and he knows all their skills. He's a smart guy in this game. Let us leave these halls behind us. <laughs> all right, Skogie. Greetings. Will you stay and speak with me a moment? Speak to Guard Captain Ernar. Okay. Sir Ernar is waiting for you in Theron's court. Oh, down there. Hello, Flossy. All right. I was playing it for a little bit, then got super, super busy with work. I don't have time to play, but I love watching people play. But I'm on tree beer. You should come back. You know, you should throw, you know, even if it's just like a half hour or something. If you're able to. It is an insult! Hear me out, Traveler! Okay, so we're starting to get into the actual questing. Greetings, Traveler. Will you stay a All right. Well. Is a moment of your time too much to ask? Yes. Yes, it is. You should be ashamed of yourself. My time is more valuable than this. Um. Will you help me? 
I think this is where I'm going to freaking call it. Ugh. Don't have too much time tonight to be streaming. Mostly because this is a comfort kind of layback stream and also I gotta, I, I gotta wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm not used to that. I, I haven't worked for a month. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Oh man. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I, m I might continue with this tour. You know, streaming it and whatnot. Maybe. All depends. Dwallin. Whoops. Do, do not delete that. Attach item. Cool, cool. All right. Definitely when I get some free time again, I'll definitely... Will peanut night? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Alright, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Is there anybody worth raiding? As far as Lord of the Rings goes that I know. Hold on. Let me, let me, look, at, let me look at Twitch here. I'll bring it up on my phone. Alright. Because if Keldor or somebody is raiding, I mean, not raiding, uh, playing. Then I will definitely read them. Scrolling through all the Lord of the Rings. Da, 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 da. Nope. Nobody I know is streaming Ultra tonight. That's sad, actually. All right. Well, you all have a great night. Thanks for coming along, and I'll see you tomorrow for Stronghold 2. Take care.